long time no see. I hope that everyone has been enjoying their summer. Mine kicked off with just such a busy start, but now my free time is starting to free up a little bit more. So I am so happy to be sitting in front of this camera again. And there are plenty more video ideas where this comes from. So if you are new to my channel and you enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you go. Also give this video a thumbs up for me. So today I wanted to hop on and film a video on my absolute favorite jewelry brand. They are seriously like 90% of my jewelry collection. It's Ana Luisa. If you watch my videos, you've heard of me talk about Ana Luisa for almost three years now, whether it be sponsored or not, because I just simply love their jewelry. So since I have only talked about them here and there throughout many different videos, I have never just sat down and made one specifically dedicated to them. So what I want this video to be is basically just a quality check-in of my Ana Luisa pieces now that I have owned some pieces for almost a few years. So basically, are my oldest pieces still good as new? Has the quality been okay? Is there any tarnishing going on? And so on and so forth. And I feel like I should talk about my sponsorship with them a little bit because there would be no other incentive to discussing their products with you guys if I didn't genuinely love their jewelry. So I do not get any separate form of payment from Ana Luisa just by talking about them. Their jewelry is my payment. So if I didn't like their jewelry, I wouldn't be discussing them. You know what I mean? So first of all, what I love about Ana Luisa is they have sales going on all the time. If they don't at a time where you find a piece of jewelry you love on their site, you can use my coupon code MadelineW20 for 20% off. The very first time that Ana Luisa reached out to me was towards the end of August in 2020 and I was just ecstatic. First of all, their jewelry looked beautiful, but I also have very sensitive skin, very sensitive ears, and the quality of their jewelry really stood out to me. So everything is hypoallergenic. Their pieces are sterling silver coated in 14 karat gold, so I knew that my ears would not react to them. I knew that these pieces could potentially last me for a very long time, and so far they have. And also, Anna Luisa really takes pride in how sustainable their jewelry is. All of the information about that is available on their website. It's super cool too because any piece of jewelry that you get, it comes in this cute little pouch. I mean, there's different pouches. Like I have some of these bigger blue ones and they have this canvas material. I have a couple little burnt orange colored ones here, which help protect the jewelry if you decide to store them in here. But I don't, I typically just use these for traveling and they make for perfect little travel pouches. So let's zoom you guys in and talk about the very first three pieces of jewelry that I ever chose. I haven't filmed with this setup in so long. I feel like it's just a little weird. Like it's strange with artificial lighting. I don't know if it's as good as when I sit in front of my window, um, but I kind of miss filming like this. I feel like I keep pausing though and like looking at myself in the little screen and I'm like, I don't know if this looks good. But hopefully it does. The first three pieces that I ever picked out. You guys, it looks like I bought these yesterday. I was so gravitated towards this pair. So let's talk about them first. These are their Hannah marble blue earrings. So pretty. So the marbling is just on the front and then it's gold on the back. They just look so beautiful. I went through a very long phase where I was not wearing these because I just didn't want like any color. And I say that as I'm wearing neutral, but like I still love my neutrals, but now I'm in more of a jewelry phase where I want to like jazz it all up with jewelry or I want like a little pop of color. So I think what is so cool is that any piece that I have picked out from Ana Luisa has been there with me through like all of my jewelry wearing pieces. And I still love every pair so much. So that just goes to show how timeless their pieces really are. Anything that I've picked out, I have been so happy with. So honestly, now more than ever, I'm probably gonna be reaching towards these more because of the cute little pop of color on them. Look at the little details. I just think that they are so special and beautiful. The next pair of earrings that I chose at the same time, these are gonna be a little bit more difficult to show, but these are their Sia paperclip earrings. So cute. I just love these. It's just such a cute concept. I have worn these so many times and I just love them. No tarnishing whatsoever. I would definitely say that these have been more worn than the Hannah Marble Blue. But let's just show you guys even closer. No tarnishing whatsoever. The color of that gold has not changed. What's cool now too, is that they used to have a one year warranty on all their jewelry. Now they have extended that, it's two years. So you can wear these pieces knowing that they are made to last. You shouldn't have to even use that warranty, but it's there just in case you need it. I know I've never needed to use it. They do have special care instructions for their jewelry. Honestly, I'm a little bit naughty because I've never done anything specific to care for them. So that really just goes to show too how great the quality is. Not like I should take pride 
in that, but I'm just saying, for example, they hold up. And then the first ring that I picked out was this rope bolt. I still love this ring, but I am not one to match like my necklace to my earrings to my rings. So I wear this at different times if I'm not wearing the Paris hoops because it's but the exact same thing turned into an earring. It's just so cute. It looks like a little croissant on my finger. I'm obsessed with it. But let's zoom you guys in even further and show you what I am currently wearing. Ooh, okay, that's super close, but hello. <laughs> so let's first talk about the rings that I'm wearing. I have unfortunately been in very much so a pickle over my wedding ring. Um, if you watched my videos in the past, you know that I didn't choose to go with a wedding band. I just have my engagement ring because I love it all on its own so much. I was like, why should we pay another $600 to get a wedding band when I don't even, like I'd have to convince myself to like it or I'd probably wear it separate from my ring. Now, I, I almost regretted not doing that just a little bit because I wish I had a wedding band right now. I had a diamond fall out of my wedding ring, engagement ring. I call it my wedding ring because it's the only ring that I have. I lost a little diamond and this has taken up almost two months of my life now. I do not have my ring. And if you follow me on like my main lifestyle Instagram, you saw that I posted that, hey, it looks great, I got it fixed, it looks like new. I just got it back that day after <laughs> them fixing it three times, you guys. I had to uncomfortably go in and be like, my ring doesn't look the same and I'm not one for confrontation at all. It was just so awkward and intimidating and I hate situations like that. Um, and you know what, it wasn't right after that third time that they tried to make it right again. In that picture, it was like, really good lighting and I was trying to convince myself that it finally looked right and then I mean in different lighting I was like what is going on like it still isn't right so now it's finally like it has been shipped out I was even contemplating posting that on my story but I was like no it's good it's good like it was just my way of convincing myself seriously anyways two rings that I have picked out from Anna Luisa have completely come in clutch so these are their Celine rings one in silver and one in gold they are separate I like to wear them together right now to make a little bit more of a oomph, like trying to act like it's a wedding band. And honestly, it makes for a really good alternative. I actually even tried these with my wedding ring and I still, I don't like the look of a band with it. Maybe I'm just easy to please. I love these all on their own and they have really come in handy, like I said, with not having my wedding ring right now. So every day at work, I have just been wearing the silver. And it's the only ring that I wear because I'm a medical assistant. I can't really go in like dripping in it Anna Luisa like this, but it has really held up with all my hand sanitizing, hand washing, putting on gloves, taking them off, whatnot. And then next over here, this is the first time that I have paired these two rings together and I am like in love with it. I'm probably going to do this every single time that I wear jewelry now. So this is the Everly ring with the Paisley ring on top. And the Everly ring all by itself would make for just a great fake wedding band alone. As you can tell, it's just a simple, minimalistic gold band. But the Paisley on top is so cute. I'm just obsessed with that. And then on my right hand, I have the Hazel ring. This cute little butterfly. And I'm so sad they're actually currently out of stock of this, but go figure because it is so stinking adorable. I love wearing it on my thumb with this ivy tattoo. I just think it's my most favorite thing in the world. And then unfortunately, I was trying to find the name of this ring on my middle finger and I couldn't find it on their site anymore. I kept scrolling up and down the entire ring selection and did not find it. So I'm Assuming they don't sell it anymore. I'm sorry. I mean, it's what I'm wearing today So I guess it is what it is. I'm sorry to show off something that they don't have anymore But maybe they will be bringing it back. I picked this one out years ago also So that also kind of goes to show how long I have been partnering with Anna Luisa Like I don't know where this ring is <laughs> anymore on their site or what the name of it is But it just looks so cute. I love these rings all together today and then for earrings So I already told you guys these are the Paris regulars moon my cats always have to make it known that they are here. I also own the Paris minis because I just love this little cute croissant style so much. Here they are next to each other for size reference. I don't even know if I'm holding this right or if you guys can really tell, but. And next to the Paris, I have the Suzanne earrings in. And these are really special because I wore them on our wedding day. The pair of earrings that I wore next to these, this is even more special now. These are called Elsie. I should have just stayed zoomed in because these are so cute and 
dainty. It's hard to show you guys, but they have the pear shape just like my wedding ring does. And I just thought that was the cutest little touch for our special day. But what I was going to say is that what makes these even more special is that the name of these, Elsie, is also the name of our brand new baby niece who was just born May 19th. But oh my gosh, I completely forgot to talk about the necklace that I'm wearing. This is the newest addition to my Anna Luisa collection because you guys, I went on the weirdest kick of not wearing necklaces for, I mean, years. Like I have only ever picked out earrings and rings to wear from Anna Luisa. This is my first ever necklace from them and I am absolutely obsessed. So this is their Rowena necklace. It is like these cute little daisies. So adorable. I love how simple it is. Yeah, it still makes a little bit of a statement. This is without a doubt a absolute favorite of mine. I am going to be wearing this all the time. I love daisies. So I am obviously back on the necklace wearing bandwagon. But point being, Anna Luisa is timeless regardless of what jewelry wearing phase I am in, whether I wanna be minimalistic or maximalist. Today I'm feeling pretty maximalist because I used to not wear jewelry like this. Not this much at a time at least. So I am just like loving this new me. I'm thankful this phase is here, but I'm pretty sure it's here to stay because I'm just so obsessed with their pieces at this point, I just want to be covered in them. Anyways, if you are looking for Anna Luisa jewelry reviews, I really hope that this video solidifies your decision in purchasing their jewelry. I could not be more obsessed. I will still be obsessed for years to come. But to wrap up this video, no, their earrings do not irritate my ears. Their rings do not turn my fingers green. No, none of my pieces have tarnished. And yes, I still love Anna Luisa just as much as the first time. So thank you guys so much for working with me for all this time. I couldn't be more honored. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you all very soon, I promise. Bye!